this is the floor it's like a really really dark gray charcoal kind of color the grout is all different kinds of colors so you've got some lighter bits there like there for example and then you've got really dark bits that are actually darker than the tile today is the tile delivery day so these are the tiles i've chosen for the hallway and kitchen they are a calcutta imperial marble and they are from the amazing tons of tiles there are about 22 or 24 boxes of these and there are only four here now so you can imagine what's about to happen to my poor little balcony so of course the flat looks like a horrible mess i've had to hike up the curtain over here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so i've got red hands at the moment but these they're definitely worth it <laughs> Good morning you guys, so I'm off work today and that's why you cannot see me because I'm currently in my PJs but I just want to show you guys how very impatient I am. I have unwrapped all of this bubble wrap. So guys, I've started to clear out my living room. The fridge, the washing machine and the dishwasher are all going to need to move out and come in here. It's all empty over here and I've moved the light there. So, you lovely lot, this is what my office wardrobe now looks like. My bedroom looks like this. We've got this in here which looks good morning guys so it's monday morning now we're actually going to be tiling on top just because you never know what's underneath this and it might cause more problems than we need and now the last thing to do is to cut the bottom of the doors because obviously the new tile and the insulation everything's going to be a bit higher than the doors actually are so my dad's literally just cut this one and then we're going to have to do these doors as well because they'll be affected and then the last doors we'll need to do are these ones in the entry I've got to basically paint all of the floor that's gonna be tiled because it basically helps to level out and fill in these little grout lines. It should probably take an hour or two to be completely dry. Then we can just get tiling first thing in the morning. Oh my goodness, it is like bright blue. It's really nice blue though. <laughs> Good morning lovely people. Today is day two of the kitchen and hallway transformation. As you guys know the floor is blue but it's not staying like this for much longer because my Tyler should be here any minute now. This is me locking myself in my room trying to stay out of Mitch's way because I'm just too heavily involved and invested in this. I'm like in awe and excited by every single towel that gets put down even though he has been asking for my seal of approval for which towel to go where so i have got some part to play in this nice for fresh hold. it wouldn't be long enough for the two this is the perfect color yeah. you need a, but you need a it's not long one. enough no. and they don't have them those are the long ones they're all like wood and silver but they don't have mine in long i don't know what i'm gonna do you guys look at the price of these doors i thought they'd be like over 50 each they're not white but obviously you'd paint over them because i want to replace my bedroom doors and bathroom door they are horrid so we have just left b q which was semi-successful we've got the plinth there this is the color i chose a light gray so it's much lighter than that see the difference and it looks so good so we're finally putting everything back in its place the most important and exciting thing today though is that these lights are finally coming down there are some tall people that i know that often i get quite worried that they're gonna like walk into it because they're very low the light doesn't really you know surround the room very well previous people that put their old lights up actually like dug into the ceiling rather than just changing the light we now have to deal with the ceiling so this is what happens when you take old things out and then you have to put new things in good morning you 
you guys i just got a very very special delivery just come through i've been sent some blinds by dot com blinds i'm very excited about this earlier this week i got some samples from them to choose from i chose the samples because i couldn't quite decide on the shade of gray that i wanted so these were the ones that i sort of whittled it down to these four Hello you guys, I don't know if you can tell but I'm so excited right now that I'm actually like out of breath. We have finally got to the end of the updating process of my hallway and my kitchen in collaboration with the amazing Tons of Tiles. Their tile collection was just beyond but you guys know I've had a very very special place in my heart for marble since the day I moved in here so you know I had to do some marble. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing on because this is like what's in front of me right now is amazing. So let's start with my hallway. If you've seen my previous flat tour, you will be super familiar with this area. This is my entryway, hallway, which is the first thing you see when you walk in. Now you guys remember the amazing window that leads to the balcony. Well, currently the balcony is a mess, so the blind is down. You all know that I love white and I love everything to be bright. So this area is super, super bright. And the problem I had with this area that I did mention is that it was so bright on top and then the floor was so much of a contrast and it was so dark. This mirror, as beautiful as it is, actually started to show up the problems in this area when I put it up. I put this up weeks before I got my floor done and actually wanted to start taking some outfit pictures out here for Instagram and then realized how horrible and how much I hated the floor. This beautiful mirror is from Melody Mason and you can find them on Instagram and they have their own website. So this is a diptyque candle in there. This cute little reindeer is from the top drawer and yes, I have got some Christmas things out, don't shoot me. This is just a normal candle from HomeSense. That one's also from HomeSense and that one's also from HomeSense. The tray is also from HomeSense and this beautiful, like, oh, this beautiful vase is from Dunelm and the flowers that everybody asks about are also from HomeSense. Lastly, my little organizer for all my letters and things is from B&M Home. So you guys, that's the hallway. Now, should we move on to the kitchen? Let's go. <laughs> notice if you are a loyal subscriber is that it's bright in here you know you know you know that this kitchen was the darkest place in my whole home now the first thing I want to show you guys is my pineapple this beautiful print I think some of you guys will know the struggle was real to put this up I worked with Desenio last year it's not that exciting over here in this corner there's a fridge freezer which is from Becco and it's quite a good size it has got a water dispenser at the front and I think in my next actual house I want to get a double American size fridge we have got some storage down below there which I keep for pots and pans and things like that and then in here hidden away is my microwave I didn't want my microwave out so I hid it in here also because microwaves really are not safe they're not healthy and the rays are not good to be standing in front of so when I use my microwave I just pull this down and it's shut above there we've also got another cabinet this is like my miscellaneous cupboard because I've got loads of different things in here my two trays they have been DIY head over to my JV home Instagram where there is a before and after picture so we've got my cutlery drawer just here random cupboard drawer which everyone has and it's got loads of papers your local Chinese delivery and all of that stuff now this right here is my pride and joy guys this is my spice rack I've got loads of different spices in here so what's this one We've got jerk seasoning, obviously, because I am Jamaican. So now we're up here on the worktop, and for everyone that asks, I painted this worktop. It's actually a light wood worktop that came with the property, but I did not like it, so I changed it. And I simply did that just to save money. I know this isn't my forever home. This is the trusty paint that I painted my worktop with like a year and a half ago now, but there's still loads left. It is a high sheen polish paint, and it's from Rust Oleum, and the color is mineral gray. So there's a close up for you guys. My sugar and tea jars are copper and they are from home bargains we then have my four mug set these are from next home and what i love of course is that they are marble and they have the copper holder accent which is just in keeping with my kitchen i haven't even used these yet because they look so pretty that i don't really want to take one out 
it just doesn't look good so let's just put that one right back my smeg kettle then we move on over here and this is my electric hob on my hob i have two matching pots this is the really large one and that is the small one i tend to use this to make like my curry goat and my curry chicken if you follow me on snapchat you would see that just beside my hob i have my cooking utensils there is an identical set to these knives and i've seen them on amazon and i just haven't bought them yet but i think i will buy them and over here i have two copper lid jars these were purchased from TK Maxx and as you can see I'm running low on brown pasta. We have my little bar area and this was not planned guys. I bought this copper tray and just felt like I needed to have some copper somewhere. Every single glass on here and the two mugs in front are from TK Maxx except the two wine glasses from Marks and Spencer. Super affordable. In the UK it's not common to have a utility room. It's only a more of a new recent thing that newer homes or bigger homes will have a separate utility but most of the time we will have our washer and dryer and our dishwasher in our kitchen some people now as well also have them integrated so they will just look like a cupboard like that the reason I don't have these integrated as I said is because this was something from my nan and I really really wanted it and didn't want to buy a new one that was integrated and then this was actually something that my dad purchased but then he didn't need it anymore and so it was there and it was a bargain so I took it straight away if any of these have to be replaced in the future then I will get an integrated washer and dishwasher when I do move into a bigger house I will have a utility room let's look up here this cupboard right here is my mug and glass cupboard so above there I've got all my mix match mugs then I've just got some plain mugs here and then I've got my special glasses that I absolutely love these were a set from TK Maxx I've got these latte glasses and they're from home bargains I also forgot to mention that all of my cupboards are soft clothes and then we move on to the cupboard next to it which is big this is a very exciting cupboard for me yes I have a lot of dishes for one person but trust me when it's time to cook I don't know how but I tend to go through a lot of these at a time the marble set is from next and this set is from Ikea and then the plain round white set is just from Argos that I purchased just to get in and move down here is just a cupboard that I have extra things that I don't really use. My under sink cupboard, which I'm not gonna show you guys because it does not look great. So let's come right back up here. We are gonna change the whole sink and tap, just a newer one with an extra sink area there and a nice sprouting tap nothing special so I thought what's the point waiting for that but my dish drainer is from next home now the exciting thing about this area for me anyway is the fact that I've got some light gray blinds these blinds are from dot com blinds the choice is unreal I found it really difficult to choose what color to go with because honestly anything would really complement this area there are so many different shades of gray and whites and creams and things like that so I got some sample colors that you guys would have seen before and chose out this light color which I just just think looks beautiful all I have to do is pull them down and let it go all the way up and what I will do is just pull it and then it stops there so there you have it those are my amazing blinds nothing hanging down the side you know any twisty things it's just perfect but I'm going to put this down in case anyone outside sees me and they think I'm a weirdo so let's just pull it back all the way down and then I just tuck it back in just like that so complementing the blinds i have got two identical candles which are stunning and they are a gift from my friend i've also got my little <laughs> maid holder i like to call it and then on this windowsill we have a very 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 special appearance from some new lazy flora plants if you've seen my balcony transformation video you'll be familiar with lazy flora and you'll know that they are essentially like hello fresh for plants they're for lazy people like me that want flowers and plants in their home but simply don't know what to buy don't know how to get them and just want someone to do it for them <laughs> this plant pot is just a cheap one from Ikea and this one is a special one from HomeSense that I purchased last week now this area is actually my bin area but my bin is currently outside on the balcony I do this every Sunday I clean the bins and then I leave them outside on the balcony to dry so these are the lights I went for now I don't know if you can see them properly because the lights are blinding those two in particular I really wanted a kind of spot light feel rather than digging into the ceiling and putting in spotlights I decided to go for one of these spotlight train I think that's what they're called the only thing I need to do is just patch up the ceiling 
which you guys saw but I did fill it up so there's no more holes in the ceiling now I just need to sand it down so it's nice and smooth and paint over it and you will never even know what existed under there before okay this right here is my pantry this is a very American thing so my American subs out there you guys know what pantries are and you guys have huge pantries but this is a very rare thing in the UK so you guys this is what my pantry currently looks like if you saw it before you would know that it has gone through heaps and bounds to get to this place these shelves have always been in here from when I bought the property that was really really handy the beautiful grey wicker baskets are from next home in that one I've got a lot of you know my hot chocolate my sugar my flour some biscuits I've got some chia seeds and things these are all the kinds of things that I put in my smoothies different cookbooks in here and then some sweet treats then I've got a good area I've got some fruits and things these are the things I use for my smoothies bananas apples and things like that and then these are plantains if some of you don't know and that's pretty much it for the pantry so now we are on to my dining area. I'm so, so proud of this area and I'm gonna show you why. First things first, my two beautiful dining chairs with the button backs, oh, love them. They are from an online company called Atlantic Shopping. What I love the most has got to be the studding along the sides and along the bottom. Let's move on to what is on the table. This is the same set that was in the cupboard. Then I have this mat, which is actually two-toned. It's light gray on this side and darker on the other side. They are also from Next Home. And in the pack, I've got four of those and four of these coasters. This is the dark side and that is the light side. But I don't use these ones because they're a bit too plain and simple for me. So I've gone with those. Home bargains, I think it was a very long time ago. My two martini glasses with the copper accent, they are from TK Maxx. Then I have this new edition, which is a beautiful candle holder, and it's actually from Dunnell. This was a one-off again, from HomeSense when I moved. So you guys, that is the end of my kitchen transformation tour with some amazing before and afters. Finally, I can now post some pictures on my socials. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing in here is. Right now, I am about 100 away from 20,000 subscribers and I can not believe it. So let me know what you guys want for a 20,000 subscriber celebration. Also, let me know what videos you'd like to see next. I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Oh. <laughs>